when I first bought this boat, I knew, I knew I was going to have to upgrade the current Garmin and the depth finder, this guy right here. Oh. A little bit outdated technology. I think this is like 10 years old. This clips in right up here like that. But I'm finally getting rid of all that. And I just picked up the new, uh, or the, well, it's not that new of a model, the Geo 7 Simrad touch screen, which is going to go in here. So yeah, you can see this transducer cable runs up here, up here, and in there. So I'll probably tie a rope to that, pull it all the way through, and that way I can easily put the new transducer on there. I'll have to take the boat out of the water, obviously, to install the new transducer. It's a little bit bigger. This is it. That's without the mount on it. This goes on top of it. Oh wait, no, not that. This. Oh, you'll see it. Here it is on the outside and then in here. That's the back of it. So we'll start by disconnecting the transducer cable. I think this is a power cable, maybe. All right, that was fairly simple. So now it just kind of pops right out. Look at how fat this thing is. It's like a generator. But yep. Well, I stuck the new Simrad in here and uh, so you can tell almost kind of fits. <laughs> I was kind of hoping maybe I could ghetto rig something to make it work. I was even thinking I could install it like this and then put like like a little cubby in there and then I can put my phones in there. Um, I don't know. I'll see what I come up with. Alright, so this is the cable to the Garmin GPS that used to be up there. Runs down here down here and ultimately it comes to here the power and then you got the ground which goes up to here so I guess I'll take that off because this hole is obviously too small to push it this way so I'll disconnect them and then I'll pull it out this way and then I'll do the same thing I got these are the cords to the old um, the old uh, sonar. So I'll take these off, and here's the new transducer, transducer or power cord to the new GPS to the Simrad, and yeah, the transducer. So you can see big coil, kind of like this one. So I'll have to follow these to the back of the boat, and then I'll have to pull this through it bring this to the back of the boat. I'm guessing so these cables come off here down here la 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 and it looks like they disappear into that hole. Okay so old transducer cable old transducer back of boat cable runs up here through here under here and then it comes out there and into this tube here, which runs and comes out right there. So what I'm going to do is, okay, see, here's the old transducer cable. So I'm going to tie a rope to the end of it. I'm going to make sure that when I tie this rope, it's not going to come off. Then I'm going to pull the whole thing through from, from over there. Once I pull the whole thing through, 
I'll have the rope here and I'll tie the rope to the new end and then pull it back through there. All right, there's a good chance I went overboard on this, but I took the main rope, tied it on here, and then I took uh, some wire and tightened it in a couple spots. So if this knot, if this knot came undone, maybe the wire would catch it. But <laughs> all right, I'll start pulling it through and hopefully uh, that gets sucked through there nicely. Alright, so I'm at the back of the boat pulling the wire through. So far it's coming out pretty nicely. I'd be pulling and guess what? There it is. There's the rope. Here's the old transducer cable, the rope, and well, all the uh, the old transducer cable right here. Take that out of the way. Here's the new transducer cable, the nice shiny black one. Now I'm gonna tie the rope to the new cable and pull it back. New one. I have it pulled through here, out here. Now I tied the line like this on here, but the problem is um, when I pull it through, it's gonna be pulling like sideways like this, right? And it's not gonna fit through the little holes it has to go through. That's why I use the wire where I wrap it around the front so it's pulling more for the from the front rather than from the side. Here we go, so now when I pull it, it's pulling from the front, from here, rather than from the side, um, from here, so it doesn't bunch up like when you're pulling it through, it'll come through straight. So hopefully everything goes smooth, let's see. This would definitely be easier with two people, but I think I should have it. There we go. <clears throat> Look, it held up beautifully. And now the boat, uh, the transducer cable is up here and the new, uh, which is gonna plug right into the back of the new mount, which is gonna be right up in this hole. Here is the new Simrad. And mm, here's sonar, right there, that's where that hole is where this is going to go. I got a little carried away and went ahead and plugged the power cord into the GPS. As you can see, I get only the power, I zip tied together um, with a three, three uh, fuse number three fuse in here and then black you can see back here black goes to ground so let's see if it turns on oh, oh this is holy oh, yeah. oh english yes please english 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 yes yes i would love english there's English UK, I wonder what that's like. Cheerios, mate, there's a fish under you. I'm gonna leave it at that and just do the finishing touches. Just walking by, don't mind me. Uh, he doesn't really give a shit about anything. All right, I've taken off most of the old transducer. It's pretty much off. There's some parts down here that came off. Here's the new, the new one. So this is gonna mount. And hopefully I'll be able to use at least one of the screw holes already made in there. 
but yep you can tell the new one's much bigger because it has the chirp and a few other of those features on it so we'll see how that goes all right old transducer is completely off time to attach the new one looks like i'm gonna have to drill at least one or two new holes Ooh. my least favorite thing about boats all right i got the new transducer mount on um drilled well these two holes are new the one in the middle is an existing hole First, I pre-drilled maybe an inch or so with the, this drill, and then I just hand tightened it with, put the screw in with just a hand uh, Phillips head. And it's super sturdy. I put the sealant in each hole before I drilled the screw in to make it a little more sealed and uh, sturdy. So that's pretty much it. Now I can uh, attach the transducer see what that looks like. I got this adhesive all over the transducer like a pig but whatever. The point is it's on now. This is all attached correctly and super sturdy. I ain't going anywhere. You can tell it's flush with the uh, it's leveled. It's gonna be you know under the water here so hopefully we'll get a really nice reading off of this last thing to do is put the cap on I'm guessing it goes on like this oh and yep snaps on and there you go transducer is installed sturdy good I'm gonna put the old screws in here that hold the the wire in place so it's gonna look like that and that's all there is to it now we just got to plug the this cable into the back of the uh, the GPS and the sonar system it'll be ready it'll work all right so here's the ghetto ghetto thing I rigged together last night There it is. Let's see it from behind. And I kind of just shoved some wood in there, drilled it so it's tight on both sides. And yeah, it's pretty sturdy. It'll It'll work for a couple trips till I get a new piece of starboard and make it how I want it. Hey, this might be the first time we don't have fishing poles on the boat. Just spear guns. Pretty shallow. This should be. Easy pickings. On some hogfish rocks. You can see the coral heads down there.